Sitting up higher than the other one. <clears throat> Y'all ready for the movie? Let's roll the credits. Come on in. Bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water. Bring your food and snacks. Let's sit and chat with who? Me, this hood girl to the hood. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing today? This is Sunday. How y'all doing on this Sunday? Y'all see the food? We'll do a close-up, but let's pray. And amen. So y'all, oh, let me pour it up. I don't have a cocktail right now. It's too early. But we have Shasta Strawberry, y'all. I haven't drunk a soda water in so doggone long. So long. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I was uploading a video, and I know it's going to be done, and then it's going to come on, so I had to take the volume down. Look, y'all. Y'all see the smoke? These cheap plates. Y'all, we got some stewed chicken, Jamaican style. We have some buttered corn, and then we have it on some rice. Oh, y'all, that look good, don't it? Yum, yum. Give me some. I'm ready to eat. And we got that Louisiana on, on deck. Y'all, I'm hungry. How was y'all weekend? I tell you, I've had a great weekend. I tell you, yesterday, uh, Yolanda picked me up. Her and her sister picked me up like at 11. We got back home like at 8. It, ate something and then we went back out to to do one more run nine o'clock i mean we had a good day as well we had a really a good day y'all you know what me and this time we had a really good day so uh y'all let me give y'all a bite of this chicken and i'm gonna tell you how how i do it that these these are chicken legs so there you go so, you know, chicken legs, I have this really sharp knife, right? And so I take it, but depending on how big the, the chicken leg is, I do three pieces. And I let it sit with some seasonings. And then I fry just a little bit for some browning. And then uh, I put in the uh, Worcestershire and uh, chicken broth and all the veggies. And I just let it simmer to its... Um, tender and cooked well so this is good i wish i had some carrots because i wanted to put some carrots now when i went to the store this morning uh, for my water i didn't even think about no darn carrots oh hot mm. oh that is so good and y'all look i got a bone but This is one of my dishes that I used to make so much 10 years ago. Not even that long. Well, I did it not too long ago, like last year. Hey, y'all want some rice? You can have some. Take it. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all. I found some... Uh, Damn, that's good. Y'all want some corn? There you go. I found some pina colada mix, y'all. Frozen. 
It says it has alcohol in it, but y'all know. So I'm gonna make I'm gonna make one today after dinner to see what it tastes like. Cause I got rum on a, on a bar. Ain't it rum in it? I think so. I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna whip it up. I I got uh, some strawberry daiquiri stuff too. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. And this is whole kernel corn, sweet corn. And so I put some sugar, onion, bell pepper, butter, and just salt and pepper. Mm. That's good. That sounds is uh, really good. Oh, I went to the meat market yard. They gave me some pineapple uh, soda water. I haven't had the pineapple. Mm. This is good. Going back to work tomorrow, I'll be shadowing somebody. <laughs> Y'all, that mail is crazy. But he said something to me today. And I liked it. He said, if we got a problem, if we are in a relationship, and if we have a bone to pick, we do that in private and we praise each other in public. I like that. Yeah. He said, because you don't need, everybody don't need to be in your stuff. That is very true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like that. Now, this food is hot. And I have to boil it out. And I just want to eat, y'all. What are y'all eating today? Y'all, this is the season finale for them Housewives of Atlanta. Did y'all see Ready to Love? It is going to be good this season. I'm so glad uh, DJ Smooth is back. Chris. Mm-hmm. I'm so glad. I I really hope that he finds the love that he wants, you know. Some handsome men on there. My goodness, the black is beautiful. <laughs> Shit, I like it. Black is beautiful, baby. They look good, tall, handsome. And you know, I like, y'all know I like a man with, with a facial hair. But it has to be uh, really trimmed beautifully, not all raggedy. I sure hope that pink colada gonna be good. But this is my chill day. Y'all already know. I don't do a lot on Sunday, but church, movies, and food. Y'all, I didn't show y'all mail, did I? I'm gonna show y'all mail. It's just a friend. What's that song? You say he's just a friend. Oh, baby, you got what I need. You say he's just a friend. I, that song came to my mind. I'm sure y'all may have. 
Mel sent a lot of pictures, y'all. Just FYI. That's Mel. Mm-hmm. Y'all remember when I said you can be talking like to two people, two men, and one you really, really like, and then the other ones is probably who you should be with. Oh, y'all, excuse me. That's male. <laughs> But he's cool. But I've already known him as well, though. So. Married at first sight. Ryan and uh, Homegirl, I think Ryan is strange that he he was in a, like a seven-year relationship and no sex. Never said I love you. And then with Claire, she says he she pleasures him at night, but he don't want to have sex with her. Y'all, that's crazy. Virginia and Eric. I don't think they're going to stay together. And of course, the 80s dude and homegirl, that's over. Done. And with the cute little black girl and the Dominican guy, you know, he's short-tempered. I don't know if that's good. He really short-tempered. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Mm -hmm. I think I think she needs to rethink that. And plus, you know, he wants children. She's scared to have them because of her blood pressure. So I think if that was her fear, and she's not 100% ready to have children, she probably should have told the counselors when they was interviewing that, you know, she want to marry somebody who don't want babies. Because he won't, he won't some, not one. Mm. So I don't know. I don't know if they're going to stick and stay on decision day. And of course, mm. Paige and Chris, Yeah, they're done. They're over. They, they ain't even show them. They're done. But they're going to be uh, at the decision day, though. And with the preview, I want to go there and whoop her ass. She just can't want him that bad. I got a bone, y'all, somewhere. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I know it's a bone. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm chewing it. Mm -mm. Mm-hmm. They sitting on that sofa and he's saying that we don't have a decision. We're not going to make a decision today. And I'm talking for both of us. And then she put her hands in her, her head and her hands say, I'm confused. You confused by what? Now, you know. My question would be, what do what do he have on his tattywacker? 
I mean, because he, anything, he didn't do nothing else but give her drama. What the hell? Mm -mm. My two friends, Betty Lyle and Dion, if y'all ever see me doing that, I need y'all to intervene. Because y'all already know what I went through before, you know, that last one. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm going to need Paige to uh, say oh, I'm on a divorce. Now. Because they never fell in love. And then the last, uh, did y'all see the last episode where he said she, she ugly? Mm -mm. When he told Pastor Kyle that he told them he wanted a pretty dating. And they didn't give him the pretty lady. And the, you know, Pastor Kyle shut that down. He ignorant. That's, that's one young, ignorant black man. I don't even understand how he did that with his mouth. And then you don't want to divorce the girl. What the hell you want? That's what I would ask. That's what I think the counselors need to ask. Now, you said the girl was ugly. You're not attracted to her. Now, I have to ask, what Paige got? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. That he can't let go. It ain't her face. He said that. One thing when you chop them bones, there can be some little bitty bones, y'all, so watch it if you ever do this. I don't know. Relationships, y'all. Mm. Today. It's different. So different. That's sort of what it could. You know, I'm happy single though. Y'all know that, right? Mm -hmm. I'm happy single. Y'all, just when I y'all, I'm gonna finish this little plate with y'all because I only have a little bit left. If I, if I don't want to die alone, y'all. I've said that a hundred times. I know y'all heard it before. I want a companion more than anything. You know? Excuse me. Oh. Oh, excuse me. Somebody to kick it with. Hmm. If that's still the way you say it today, I don't know. I think when you're celibate, like me, 
You just have different thoughts with some on things, you know. But yeah, I say male male started in two for five years. I also learned that uh, his daddy was a pastor all his life. I was like, um, I forgot. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And they'll say he wants to have love making with his wife. Not before. <laughs> I'm like, oh my mind I'm like Know who your wife gonna be, but if you ain't gonna let her test the water, you gonna have to be good. You gonna have to be good. <clears throat> Can you get married to somebody and you don't have sex until like the day of the marriage? Once you get married, and then good. Can you have? Can you get an annulment? <laughs> because the sex ain't good. <laughs> I would. <laughs> I know that may sound shallow, but why would you stay in a relationship if the sex not good? Because sex is a, a portion of that shit gotta be good for me. Mm -mm. So good sex adds to your happiness. big portion for the happiness in your marriage and I love sex y'all know that too though but not not your new ones but it has to be bomb diggity good period mm. That's good. I ate all that food. It was good. It's going to be time for a drink next. Whew. So, y'all, that's it. That's all. I am done. Y'all ready to sing? Whew. What if I had made some bread like I thought I was? Thank y'all. Excuse me for sticking and stand and coming back every single day. But y'all know I don't post my videos like I like I was. So I got almost four hundred. So I think I'm back on my normal hours now. I never asked them. I think I am. But look here. Don't forget to thumbs your hood girl up. Don't forget to comment down below. Thank y'all. You know, I love you and it's nothing you can do about it. But this dinner was really good. I hope yours was too. Let's sing. It's time to say goodbye for now. We have another chance around. On the other side. So whatever y'all do for the rest of this Sunday, beautiful, blessed day, do it good, do it with purpose, and do it with what? Genuine love. Cheers. Let's roll the credits. Bye-bye.